हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू बी पी इंटरव्यू ट्यूटोरियल एंड गाइज वी आर लर्निंग इन आर लास्ट वीडियो अबाउट दी एक्सेल एस्किलेशन डैशबोर्ड गाइज आई हैव अपलोडेड फोर वीडियो स्टिल नाउ ऑन दी एस्किलेशन डैशबोर्ड प्लीज वॉच आउट ऑल द फोर फ्रॉम द पार्ट वन टू पार्ट फोर सो दैट यू विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस कंटिन्यू दिस करंट वीडियो अदरवाइज यू विल गेट कन्फ्यूज दैट वॉट आई हैव डन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर डैशबोर्ड so before moving to the video guys please do share subscribe the channel like my videos uh, share with your friends who are looking for the job you can also check the playlist wherein you will find the videos related to uh, yellow bell certification excel then you will also find quality materials quality related details and all so today's uh, concept here is that we will continue the dashboard and today we will be pre preparing the agent wise uh, details how we can find the agent wise details So first, I will create one tab here. I'll go to Insert, click on the shapes, and I'll select one shape here. Okay, it's done. Now I will rename it to Agent Data. Agent uh, Data. I'll select it. Control A. Go to Home uh, and bring it to the center and increase the size. All set. Now click on this button or this shape. Right click. You will find hyperlink. click on hyperlink and uh, select the second one place in the document so here we do not have agent wise details right so first i will add one sheet here with the name of uh, agent details right now i will again go to dashboard uh, then right click to the shape not to the data to the shape okay right click hyperlink place in this document and i have agent details click on it automatically it will redirect you to the agent details amazing right now i will fill this agent details and go to view and again i will remove this grid lines then uh, same i will be pay, uh, going with this uh, title and uh, i will paste it here escalation dashboard and i will re rename it with uh, agent wise details agent wise details and before uh, then i'll add one more pivot table guys in that pivot table i will be getting uh, the agent wise details i'll just scroll it down and i'll go to agent name so here i am not getting the names here so i just pay, copy paste this uh, uh, upper pivot table to the bottom last uh, so that i can find the agent wise detail here i have a team lead name i will remove it i will keep associate name here all done now we got the associate name we got the total escalation count for the associate i'll just convert it into the graph uh, go to insert uh, sorry home uh, then wait a minute yes go to insert then go to recommended chart go to column chart and uh, i just don't want total here i just want details till uh, the last name of the associate okay then here it is yes the graph is ready now uh, i will remove this uh, sum of count and associate name right click and uh, do hide all buttons i will change the ch chart type go to below and change it with this i don't want grid lines i will remove the grid lines i want data labels like how many escalations we have received and um, i want legend in the bottom bottom i will rename it with uh, agent agent wise escalation count yes here we go now we got all the data perfectly i'll go to agent wise details i'll just paste it here and i'll resize it so that i can easily get the details again i want some slicers here as well So if you go here, if you remove this slicer from here, if you remove this, you will find uh, the changes are not reflecting for this particular. Uh, yes, the changes are reflecting, right? Sorry, the changes will reflect here as well. So same. Agent wise, I'll select all. See, you can see that in the agent wise, we're getting all the details. So I'll just copy paste this first, second, and third. Please control and select all the three. Yeah. 
and go to agent wise detail and just paste it here all set now if i remove this external internal and if i go to dashboard yes the details are getting changed see it again get selected as internal same like this if i select all yes it's selecting it all so we got the agent wise details as well and i'll just paste it uh, below to it okay just keep some space and i will add one more button see if i click on agent wise he will redirect me to the agent wise now right click here take this button uh, to agent details and paste it here uh, sorry it's not working directly so what i'll do i'll go to insert select the shape and i'll keep this uh, shape name as home done and go to home again uh, resize it and arrange it in a, in the center and right click hyperlink place this document dashboard okay so if you click on this it will redirect you to the home and once you click on it it will redirect you to the agent it's amazing right so in this way you can find the agent wise detail if you want here also a uh, date wise detail guys you can uh, get the date wise details as well just copy paste the same thing here so that you can get the date wise details uh, below to it uh, if you want score wise detail uh, i mean to say like if you want if you don't want graph you just want the entire scores like uh, mm, so in the same view of the table then you can get the table also here it's up to you uh, I, I guess guy, this is very very easy to understand to get the uh, agent wise details uh, in the same way you guys can get uh, the rest of the details as well uh, whatever you want for your dashboard so this is just a simple basic example if you go to uh, the lead name you will find the uh, how many associate got the escalations you can find the name also so it's showing total here i will just rename it this total or else i'll remove it i do not want this total uh, so the same i will remove it from here as well done now i want to keep this name in a straight format so what i'll do i'll just re-click format access okay and um, just go here yes sorry ah here it is go to uh, this size and properties and select it as in this way like in what way you want this data if you want in horizontally you can keep it in horizontal also you want in vertical yes this is the best way to keep this data so in this way you can keep the uh, details here so it's very easy to uh, understand always use uh, control s to save the details so here the details are coming in a straight way you can keep the details in straight way as well it's up to you like how you want to represent it and we kept the home button also now next uh, we want parameter wise details like on which parameters uh, the particular associate got the error so before moving to that i will create some buttons here again so i will create one sheet the sheet name will be a uh, parameter wise defect uh, so what is the use of this button guys so what i'll do i'll just uh, hide this agent wise details sheet guys see uh, if i hide this then directly i can uh, go to this sheet right no it's not working why because the sheet was hided so it's not it will not work so definitely you need to keep these sheets open but rather than people moving to different sheet they directly move uh, to the another sheet with the help of this button i will add one more sheet uh, with the name of uh, okay i'll just uh, pick the same size i'll go with the same size perfect so i'll go with the same size i'll keep the same size on the agent wise also yes here we go correct and i'll just rename it or increase the size increase the width the same is here okay so the size is very yeah okay done perfectly it's working and i will resize this also okay done perfectly the size are same i will rename it with parameter wise details meter wise details